Hello fellow Unreal Engine games developers. In today's desert driving tutorial, we'll fix a bug with the multiplayer scoreboard not appearing, as well as a few other benign bugs at the same time. Let's get straight into it. This is going to be the last official video of this desert driving game series, uh, but stay subscribed as so I'm going to uh, start a new series soon on game settings. That'll cover everything that you need to set up the video, audio, uh, keyboard and controller settings in the game, which you pretty much need in every game. So stay tuned for that as I'll be doing a comprehensive new series on how to set that up in Unreal Engine. So anyway, back to today and we're going to look at the last remaining bug fixes in this game particularly one that was brought to my attention by a few of you which was the missing multiplayer scoreboard at the start of the game uh, only seems to happen in the editor but let's try and fix it anyway so we've got a nice clean uh, game i'm going to do a few other bug fixes as well they're mostly um what i'd call benign bugs these are things that aren't actually causing any game problems but it's either unnecessary code or the wrong code in the uh, blueprint for doing what we want to do. So everything today is in the player controller. So first thing you need to do is open up BP My Player Controller. And before we get into the um, before we get into the error with the scoreboard, I just want to address the first issue, which is something that uh, I put in that's absolutely unnecessary in a few places. You'll notice that in a lot of these uh, client events like client start game, client show game result, the first thing I do is check, am I a local player controller? And um, this is completely redundant because a player controller only exists on the server and the owning client. So if you are executing a client event, it can only execute on the local player control of the client. So this is irrelevant. Um, it doesn't do any harm because it'll always be true, but uh, it's uh, unnecessary. So let's get rid of the uh, is local player controls that we don't need. So this client start game event, let's delete it. The client show game results, let's delete it. And in particular, the show score, which we're going to look at in a minute to solve our scoreboard issue. We don't need it there either. Didn't, that didn't cause the problem, by the way. It just was unnecessary. Now, be careful because the place we do need it is in the event begin play. This is the one place where it makes sense because when we run this event begin play event, this runs on both the server and the client. And we wanted to make sure that we were on the client so we could set up the widgets on the client side so that's why we did this check for local player controller and then set up all our client widgets and then when we wanted to do some server work we then called server events to do the initialized score and spawn vehicle okay so that's the first um, benign bug that i wanted to sort out now let's get on to the uh, main event of today which is to sort out the scoreboard problem and what i want to do first is just run the game just to show you what the error is now it happens not every time in fact for me it seems to happen one in every 10 times or so but what i want you to do is go to your play settings and set up four players um, so maximum number of players and go into play and what i'll do is i'll run this a few times until the error um, occurs and then i'll resume the video Okay, so I'm back. I ran this about seven or eight times before what happened was that it doesn't show on the top left window, which is the client three. And this is usually the case. It's usually the last client to join where it doesn't show the multiplayer window. So this is the issue that we want to address. And you also notice I've got some errors as well, which we probably will, well, we will definitely address. And that may be part of the issue as well. So if I come out of the game, you notice one of the errors here was it said access none trying to read the my score widget and my and scoreboard widget so we'll uh, bear that in mind when we go through this uh, this problem so let's dismiss the errors and just to refresh your memory I'll, I'll tell you how the score initialization worked or remind you how it worked 
in the event begin play section, we set up our widgets for the my scoreboard and the multiplayer scoreboard. And then we called the initialize score on the server. The initial initialize score went into the player state on the server and did the initialize score. And then this set the score with a rep notify so that when each client joins, we replicate the score to each client. So this on rep player score gets the player controller and calls the client show score event. So if we go back to the player controller and look at the client show score event, this will be called every time the player, the initial initialized score, um, fire, every time the initialized score runs and that client joins. So for four player game, we should get the notification four times for each client. So that means a total of 16 times. So let's just check that first of all. I do a print string here. And let me just up the duration to 200 so it doesn't disappear. Okay, and if I play now, if you look at any of these screens here, what you'll see is there are a total of 16 print strings, four for each um, client. So four for the server, four for client one, four for client two, four for client three. So we know that all of the events are firing, but for some reason it's not getting to the part of the code where it sets up the scoreboard. And let's have a think about why that might be. So let me take this print string out again. And the first thing you notice is there are things here which may fail um, and therefore prevent you from getting to the next stage. So for example, the uh, get player state here, let's say for example, I am the very last client to join. So client three. So as soon as this player controller comes into existence, I will immediately get a barrage of rep notifies for server client one and client two. So I will get this event fired. I will then call the my player state and my player state may not have even been replicated yet. Um, what I do know is when I receive the client three rep notify, I only receive that after the player state has been set up and the rep notify works. So for client three, I may get three failures here before the success. Okay. And then, for example, the widget for the first three times I get it may not have been set up yet. So that will fail and that will prevent it going any further and checking whether this scoreboard exists. So there's a few um, validations that we need to do. Um, and in fact, this is a quite a simple issue to solve. You notice that the errors I, were getting, I was getting were W my score doesn't exist or W scoreboard doesn't exist. Well, that's true until uh, the last client uh, gets its own notification because the last client will have already set the two widgets before calling the server score or server initialized score. And then when that rep notify comes through, their player state will exist, their widget will exist, for my score and for scoreboard. So all we need to do is just put in some uh, validated checks here and not have the reliance on uh, the, the previous um, nodes having worked. So what we'll do here is we'll put in a sequence node. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, let's just disconnect this for a minute. We're going to do a validated get on the my score so it doesn't fail um, or the earlier rep notifies. So let's do convert to validated get. And then we'll put that in here. And then if it's valid, we'll update the score. And then what we'll do is we'll do a similar thing here with the score, with the multiplayer scoreboard, convert it to a validated get. We're going to put this on its own sequence so it's not um, related or it's not, it's not dependent on this working, uh, although they should be both in sync. And then if it's valid, 
the score but widget scoreboard then we'll do that so now um, when we get some of the earlier rep notifiers for the last client the pl this might fail that's okay doesn't do any doesn't have any problem um, this might fail um, but doesn't that doesn't matter until we get the very last rep notify for the client and then we know we've got a player state we know we've got a widget set up and we know we've got the multiplayer scoreboard set up and i suspect um, some of the issues there were to do with the fact that the widget wasn't fully set up um, so if you run this i won't do it now but if you in your um set up now run this a number of times you should see that that problem has completely disappeared so that's the main issue of today solved i just want to resolve two final issues again these fall, fall under the umbrella of benign bugs and more, more cosmetic issues um, the first one is this um, play sound and again i must have been having a bit of brain fog on this day when we added a score on the server uh, when we go through a gate i played a sound or rather i called a multicast play sound to play the sound on the client well that works but actually the multicast is makes no sense in this context because as i said earlier a player controller only has a server version and a owning an owning client version so there are no other clients to multicast to so just for um, correctness, let's change this from a multicast to run on owning client. And let's rename it accordingly, client play sound. OK, so now this is more um, meaningful as a code. So basically now when we add the score on the server, we then call the client event, which plays the sound on the owning client. Now, this is an interesting uh, point because this will only play to the person who went through the gate. All of the other players on the map won't hear anything. So if you want other players to hear something like a noise to say that the other player is scored, what you'll have to do is you will have to call an event on the a server event on the game mode. And similar to some of the other um, tutorials we've done, you will then have to go through each player in the player array and send a message to their client to play a sound like this. It may be a different sound to say that um, a score has been uh, added on another player. So I won't do that, but it's something uh, you can add yourself if you need to. You need to do that. And let's just go on to the last error I want to fix today. And this uh, is really code that is now redundant. If you remember earlier on in the project, before we did the Steam installation or Steam implementation, we had a player name text field on the main menu. And we typed in the player name and set it on the game instance. And then the first thing we did when we came in on the uh, main level is in this event begin play event, we called this set player name um, function on the client. And what this did is it retrieved the player name from the game instance, and then it called this set player name function, which uh, added the player name to each player state. Now, the Steam uh, implementation has the name in the player state automatically. So this code is now redundant. So again, if you, if you don't remove it, people might come to this later on think this is an important part of the game when in fact it does nothing now so delete this whole set player name uh, section and get rid of the set client set player name in the event begin play don't forget to reconnect here so now the player names already exist uh, from steam or from the uh, uh, from the from the uh, project so if I go into play at the moment I'm not in Steam, it's just using the inbuilt player names, but it works fine. And when you run it on Steam, uh, this player name will be the player names from the, uh, from the Steam account. So um, that will probably wrap it up for today and indeed wrap it up for this series. 
but please stay subscribed and stay tuned as this exciting new series on game settings will launch in the next week or two. I'm just putting the finishing touches to it um, and then I will do the first video going through an overview of everything you'll be learning. So I'll see you soon and bye for now.